So, hi, it's me, Denny Daniel, and I'm here with... Jillian. Alan. And they came all the way from New York, uh, and, uh, and they went through the whole museum. It took about a week and a half. Uh, they had pajamas and everything. They had to stay here uh, with the cat. And now they're going to open up a new acquisition. I've got three boxes here. There's the three boxes. And uh, they're going to open up one of these boxes. Now, I do this like a 40-second street shell game, which I'm born and raised and remember, where a guy showed up with three shells. He put a quarter under one of the shells. He would mix them up. And if you guessed which one had the quarter, you would win something. The only difference here is I don't have three shells. There isn't a quarter under any of my boxes, and you win nothing. So ethically, it's exactly like a New York shell game, if you think about it. <laughs> the only similarity is this. I will be mixing the boxes. So here is me mixing up the boxes. So are you guys confused? Very. Mm -hmm. Good, because otherwise I would have to do this all day long. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me take them back over here. Uh, okay, and uh, go ahead. Each one of you gets to pick a box to open. I'll take the small one. There you go. Thank you. I'll take that one. Excellent. There you go. And here are your scuffles. Uh -huh. And remember not to cut each other, no. to cut yourselves, to cut me, or the peanut gallery behind me, or the cat. No. <laughs> but I do have Civil War surgical tools if you need any healing. <laughs> and don't worry, I don't do things, you know, you don't have to worry about like sterilizing them or anesthesia or something. <laughs> A shot of whiskey in your farm. Alright. Oh, those glass plates? Glass plates, yeah. Oh, you opened up... Oh, and you were so curious about magic lanterns, and now you opened one. Um, let me see which the one we opened. Wait, there's more. And there's more! <laughs> it cooks, it cleans. <laughs> it does everything. Ooh, more? Yeah. More glass Ooh. plates, probably two stories. Let's see. Miss... Miss or Mr.? I'm not sure. Miss... Oh, no, Mr. Brown and his wife. Mm. Or awakened by a mouse. Oh, that's a fun one with a mouse getting chased around. Mm -hmm. I love that one. So this is one of them, and I, <gasps> this okay. is a, this is amazing. This is Paul Revere. Oh, really? Oh. This is the story of Paul Revere on glass slides, beyond rare, and it has the text on the back here, mm. so you can read the text as you see it. Yeah, ah. it's missing two slides, but I don't care. <laughs> I'll, I'll come up with something. Oh no, it's it's got all the slides, but it's missing it's the work. text on two, two of them. But I mean, we all know Paul Revere's story, so I'm gonna. But this is one of the ones that's missing text, and I'm just gonna. Mm. Oh, that's yeah. upside sideways. There you go. That is a really important one. This is gonna be a huge one for the mm. for when we do the show. So that is a huge piece of history right there. I still mm. can't believe I own the Paul Revere slides. You know which one that's that? a really huge piece of history. Brown, this is a whole story. Ah. And that one is the mouse one, which I have uh, ah. to build a better mouse trap show. Ah. Uh, so this one uh, we're going to show. So this is you said mouse, right? Yeah. It's definitely mouse. Excellent, good. That's so cool. I love the mouse one. Mm. It's just so funny. So it's like, and my nickname for my sister Connie was Eek a mouse. That was one of my nicknames for her. So Connie, that's for you too. <laughs> I think there's the mouse. Uh -huh. oh. They're beautiful colors. Yeah. Aren't they? Yeah. These are really well made. Yeah. yeah, I love these. So that'll be when we do our Magic Lantern show, you can say uh -huh. you were the one who opened that one before Denny yeah. ever touched it. So let me have the box for that. I'll it's put it together. Here. Excellent. Good. So I'll put these all together. Especially so I won't break them. <laughs> and they're in the box correctly. Right and then the you next one. Yep. We have a newspaper of some kind. Oh, this is really important. I know I know which newspapers I've been getting lately. Being of what's going on today. We have two. Ooh, now we have several. So this is because of what's going on with the impeachment. Wow, this is Baltimore, Wednesday, August 15, 1945. <gasps> I didn't That's buy that. Is. He donated it. The war is over. Holy moly! He gave me that? I, you said you know what you bought. I do. Mm -hmm. He knows I teach kids. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that. That is a huge... Wow. That is very cool. serious. Yeah. I, whoever sold me that, I, I, thank you. That is an honor. It's That's an honor really that, cool. that you think what I do is so important that you would give me that. That's really sweet of you. 
You don't even know how much that means to me. Wow. That is huge. Oh, that makes sense, though. That uh, is six hundred feet, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, and Nixon. That is amazing. Yeah. Awesome. But then we have Nixon resigns. Friday, August 9, nineteen seventy four. Right. I, I I'm trying Nixon to get Nixon resigns. So I'm trying to get everything from every single so you're uh, have MP. A, do you have the? Did you save the current ones? Yes, I have all the current. I'm trying to get more. Save me anything you got. If you get the New York Times, because nobody it. gets the Times anymore. Then we have a recap from April of 1994. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't so. do that. I didn't get that. He added it. Okay. That's another. That's another one he added. How sweet of you. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of him to add that. Yeah. That's really, really important. And then December 20th, 1998. That's the one I got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought one and he gave me like Four. ones that are worth even more than the one I got. Yeah, <laughs> like, he basically yeah. lost money on the sale. Yeah. Thank you. So, that means so much to me that you did this. I cannot believe it. What a cool one to open. That is a really, mm -hmm. really amazing one to open. People tend to open things that are uncanny or ironic to them 80% of the time. You <laughs> love the thing. I now, I wonder why you opened the impeachment. I will never figure that out. Maybe it was random. 10% mm. is random. But it is very cool. And the, the donations are just even better. Mm. And I have the Johnson. Oh. 1868. Mm. Oh, wow. And I have the original Congressional Globe with wow. the entire transcript of the entire Johnson impeachment. Wow. And I understand all the impeachments and why they were valid or not valid. And it's very interesting logic. Hmm. Very, very interesting logic behind all the impeachments. Uh, it's very important for kids and adults to understand so I can really explain it well. And being a historian, the point isn't to take sides, the point is to understand. Mm -hmm. And so I very much understand all the, technically not four, but three, but technically four. It's just because mm -hmm. that's why I have Nixon resigns, mm -hmm. because there would have been an impeachment. Mm -hmm. And right. he might have been the only president in history to actually be impeached. Right. He mm -hmm. was the only one that was, ironically, the only impeachment that didn't happen was the so one that, that would have would won. Right. Mm -hmm. And the others would, you know, were, you know, there's whatever type of absurdity, and we're not done with this one. Yet. Mm -hmm. But it's all very, very interesting, the logic behind it. And we won't go into it all now, because yeah. it's a long dissertation, but I wanted to be yeah. able to document it mm -hmm. and be able to show pieces of history and then explain to kids and adults uh, where it comes from, how it happened, what the logic is behind all of them, and compare and contrast them to see which one was the least impeachable, which was most impeachable, mm -hmm. which one, and what the gray lines were mm -hmm. on whether or not it was impeachable at all. And it's very interesting, the Johnson impeachment, because they literally put in the law that they passed just to impeach him that... This is an impeachable offense. Mm. A law passed in America that says it's an, purpose, event, right? it's an impeachable event. Who is that for? There's only one human in America that can be impeached. So if you pass a law that says that, who's the law for? One guy. <laughs> and I can't believe they managed to mm. allow that to happen, but it was very fascinating. In 1868, it must have been a huge scandal. Mm -hmm. It must have been a huge scandal. That's no longer emotional to us, so I can mm -hmm. say it. Now these are emotional. But that one isn't. Who the hell knew? Who, who knows Johnson now? Mm. But it's very fascinating. Even our first impeachment was that fixed. Mm. You know, was that nutty? Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting the whole logic mm. behind it. So I, I really think that we needed to have a little bit of everything so that we have a nice balanced view of every one of them. So Fantastic. you open it. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's say bye to the world. Bye world. <laughs>